Last stock you have in your portfolio is DraftKings. I do not like them. Real simple reason, chart to the bottom right. Shares outstanding continues to grow. All right. They're nowhere near making money. They're nowhere near making money. In fact, I would question in the future if they have to issue more shares. I won't short them for a very simple reason. I believe online gambling becomes a bigger deal. And also there is the possibility they get acquired. Bill, do I like Rocket Mortgage? You're going to laugh at some point. Yes. I don't know when that point is. I might wait till Wendy tells me to do it. I'm going to probably wait. Like Wendy is the person because the interesting logic behind this is you're playing interest rates. The second interest rates, all right, the second interest rates get cut. And I still think we have probably less than a year, but more than six months, put it that way. The second that happens, you will see a flood of people interested in refinancing. That's how Rocket's going to make money. They have been grinding up. I think people realize there's still housing activity. The real explosion for Rocket is when all of a sudden people take the, the mortgages they've got in the last year and start refinancing them. And that's going to make them a lot of money. They're going to have a few really good quarters. But you're talking about when you know for a fact interest rates are done going up and you really want to start seeing them come down. But I'm not sure. Like that might be a more technical play. Chad, is differentiation leading to consolidation in some of these sectors? Ooh, I love that question. Let me reframe it. I don't think differentiation is going to matter. I think consolidation in some of these sectors is a cycle thing. All right. So if you believe in the whole like bear market, bull market, et cetera, at a certain point in the economic cycle, okay, a lot of asset values get depressed. Company earnings tend to um, get pummeled. And a lot of times you do tend to see just naturally as an outcome of the economic cycle, you do see consolidation. And guys, consolidation we're referring to here is acquisitions, mergers, sometimes even bankruptcy. All right. So basically a sector that may have 10 players during good times, when times get bad, you don't need 10 players. Some of them are going to die. The interesting question, Chad, you got to ask yourself is whether we're going to see the same level of consolidation as we normally would, given the fact that Lena Khan and this administration does not seem very comfortable towards uh, or very ameliorating towards um, consolidation. So it's a good question. Hopefully I answered it. I kind of dodged the differentiation aspect. I don't think that's the the biggest driver. I think it's just natural for where we are in the cycle. By the way, if you want to play consolidation, Goldman Sachs is number one. The biggest player in M&A investment banking, Goldman Sachs will be the winner. Thoughts on space? Fuck no. Hell no. Hell no. You are a long time away from this company mattering uh, from an earnings standpoint. I think there's a bigger likelihood of, quite frankly, bankruptcy or that they have to issue even more goddamn shares. Cash is clay. I'm not short wing stop. I've not been short wing stop in a while. God damn it. Did Apple leaping off Goldman? Yeah. <laughs> Scam ass biggest grift was space. Oh God. Hem life. And that's saying something because that man's got some grifts. Spencer, is there a book or movie about Goldman Sachs? The funny thing is, Margin Call is technically, people have said it's closest to Goldman Sachs for all the major players, that Goldman Sachs was the first to recognize and Goldman Sachs sold. Jesse, uh, through 433 on volume, space is a buy. Oh, wow. Wingstop is tomorrow morning. I'm not going to touch them because their growth has been very impressive. And here's the thing, it's the NVIDIA example. I hate Wingstop based on valuation. The problem is everybody who's invested in Wingstop has known it's overpriced as fuck. You're buying a true growth. You're buying true growth. 
So if that's the case, all the investors who are in it, they know it's overvalued. All they have to do is show growth. It's a spicy play. Wendy, body found in New York City Creek is missing Goldman analyst. Hey, turned out. Yeah, that would be a spicy play. Hold on, what bloodbath and beyond doing? I saw Rad mention they got courted. Did they get zeroed? Is it now zero? They fucking bought the dip. Something happened to them. I can't pull it up. It's such a shit go, guys. Oh my God, gaseous clay. You could say the analyst position is underwater. Hold on, let me see if... Oh, look at this. They've got it at 24. I've got it at 27. I've got it at 27 right now. It dropped and it bounced back up. Let's see what the... Uh, Let's see how they're doing. See how the apes are doing. This was a planned attack. You dumb fuck. XC Runner, Qualcomm about to go green on the day. Yes. Down Lemur, does Bloodbath and Beyond ever get bought for their brand or not? Their brand has already been purchased. Their two IP assets were Bye Bye Baby. It was bought by an entity called Dream On Me. And then they had the Bed Bath and Beyond um, IP, and that was bought by Overstock.com. AT361, any earnings play tonight besides Starbucks? Not for me. You guys are a bunch of degenerates. You can play whatever the fuck you want. Mm -hmm. Chem Life, quick question. Who's the closest to Devin? Is it, is it Diamondback? Is it Fang? Fang recovered. They were down originally. Qualcomm Green? <gasps> it's so close. It's beautiful. We are cheering for it. Don't scare it. Anyway. Spencer, probably a good idea to sell them CBS calls. Um, Suchi, why is Amazon and consumer cyclical? That's a fucking hell of a question. I don't, because technically their retail business is the closest thing to consumer cyclical. NHTSA. National Highway, Traf uh, Highway Traffic Safety Administration investigating a power steering issue with some Teslas. Hey, as long as the wheel fucking stays on. Big Cat Market Maker calling out 125% fee rate for shorting Bed Bath & Beyond. Quick, who knows why? I have seen a lot of apes talk about the cost to borrow a share as fundamentally being some kind of bullish thing. It's not. High cost to borrow means a lot of people are trying to borrow shares to short. It means a lot of people are pretty confident that share is going down. Uh, where is... I do follow the GME Meltdown sub because they tend to include some good shit now about BBBY. See if they have um, any write-up on the uh, case.
from today's hearing, judge, I'm confused. The interests are to be fully and final satisfaction, but the shareholder claims are being extinguished. What does full and final satisfaction mean? Lawyer understood your honor to be clear. All interests are being extinguished and discharged. That means zero, by the way. Uh, dividend investing makes sense. Keep in mind, though, right now you have um, um, risk-free bonds. So it's always interesting when you have like a stock that pays like a 2% dividend when you can invest in a company that may pay, for example, sorry, a company that invests like a 2 or 3% dividend, but you can get like 4 to 5% on, on short-term like treasuries or fixed income instruments. Did I hear the judge read a letter from an ape and said, this was filed wrong, not signed and not dated, so I'm rejecting it? No, I did not. I'll get to review all that stuff later. Yeah, now keep in mind, to me, there's a lot of stocks that pay a dividend where the dividend's nice, but quite frankly, you're buying the, like, I will not buy a company just because it pays a dividend. I'll buy a company because I think the company is going to fundamentally grow. Oh yeah, and it helps. It also holds a dividend. So like CVS, Pfizer, Qualcomm, even TSMC, I hold shares, I get dividends. I'm not holding them because of the dividends. It doesn't hurt. But long-term, I see all those companies being more valuable. Yeah, never buy AT&T because of the dividend. Yeah, if a company, if the only incentive to buy it is a dividend, you better be really comfortable that company is going to maintain that shit. And to me, in a high interest rate environment, just buy fucking bonds. Talk to Mo. Mo will get you set up straight. AT361, what's the latest with EWZ? It is not having a good day today. Part of that may be because of the action of the US dollar. So either way, tomorrow morning, we get the um, Brazilian um, um, central bank decision, right? So yeah, my understanding is EWZ is primarily down on the US dollar. What time does Brazilian version of FOMC end? I don't know. I can the question. If it's not a 50 basis point cut, EWZ down. I actually agree with that. They fucked up bond ETFs in India so hard. We can't claim indexation benefits from them. I Meaning we got to pay capital gains. Ouch. Suchi, to be respectful as possible, why the fuck would you buy an Indian dividend stock? India, I think the World Bank just put out a, um, a piece that basically said India's GDP growth is expected to be like one of the best in the fucking world. My brother in Christ. Play the growth, my friend. Reminder, long term, I want exposure to India through Apple. Yeah, no one likes me saying that, but I fucking said it. Apple is going to be a great India play one day. Yeah, India, the wild growth story. Yep. Expansion of middle class, um, improvements theoretically in infrastructure. Uh, AMD is 415. 415. Yeah, India is going to be a really, really good growth story. India can be the equivalency of what China was in the early 2000s when their middle class all of a sudden expanded and exploded upwards. 
Suchi, low key though, the World Bank be tripping. We not hitting those numbers in 50 years. Suchi, my brother in Christ. I'm bullish on you guys. I'm bullish. Any country with that kind of demographics, a lot, lot of young people, high education rates, high investment in education, if you guys invested in infrastructure, it'd be a different ballgame. We'd all be uh, appreciating that. I am bullish on you people. I know what I mean by you people, but I am, maybe I'm biased. I've worked in analytics, corporate America. I've had many, many brothers in arms who were from the subcontinent and I loved it. I truly did. I am not, I am completely unapologetic about that. India going to slow down when everyone immigrates to the U.S. instead. <laughs> and time. How'd the spy do? We calling it. Who wins? 456. Bad news. Bears win. Bears win. Let me give you your points. All right. TSMC is expanding in India, by the way. They're looking to. I know Japan's also looking to um, expand some partnerships in India. Black Raven, if we can stop making statutes. Right. No, I, I, I will. I will always be a homer. I will always be cheering for India, the Indian people, not the government. Fuck it. But I'd say the same thing about America, so. All right, guys, time. I didn't get to cover that. That's fine. I don't care about it now. All right, AMD's at 415. Devin's at 405. Star Bizzle's at 405. Pinterest is at 405. Elf is at 405. So really, MicroStrategy's at four, and we literally do not care about them. So how are they doing, huh? How are they doing? Looked like the first action was down, but big wick. I'm bearish on India since you can outsource all Indian IT encoders with chat GPT. Bullish India for that same reason, because who the fuck is going to be programming or um, doing all the coding on chat GPT? Right. What do we want to hear from AMD to keep NVIDIA mooning? Oh, well, it, I'll be honest. I hope NVIDIA falls. I want to buy in for earnings because I still see people so fucking wrong about them. So fucking wrong about them. If AMD said that the uh, the M, uh, MI300 was being moved up to production, that would be bad for NVIDIA. We don't expect that. ChatGPT will eventually program itself. My brother, have you ever seen the movie The Terminator? Feels like a mistake. Uh, Tommy Hayes, is there a play here? 79 square mile area of Los Angeles County is under quarantine after invasive fruit fly was found there. First such quarantine for the pest in the Western Hemisphere, according to California. I have no clue. Probably like Dow or Bear. Bear. General public will always be confused by politicians with religion-based politics for votes while they do scandal after scandal. This is what will be holding. The democratic dynamicism of a large country over 1 billion people will always serve as both a hindrance, but also a benefit for development. Basically, could you get American uh, innovation without America's democracy? Probably not, right? Wendy's going to unleash some fruit flies on Spencer's almonds. <gasps> oh, no. A Padres fan, how does that processor integrate with all other platforms? Is your understanding that one of the better things about NVIDIA has done is develop software in a platform? Yes. Uh, CUDA is the big advantage, C-U-D-A. It's by far the biggest advantage um, that NVIDIA has. It's absolutely true. AMD's building their own ecosystem, Rock M. They just, they haven't had the same amount of time. Give them time. 
But right now, that's why when people talk about like, oh, well, NVIDIA, how good are they going to be when uh, Google, Microsoft, uh, Meta, all of them are now trying to design their own AI chips? Even once they design those chips, they will still be buying GPUs from NVIDIA because NVIDIA runs the CUDA ecosystem and that's the number one ecosystem. So when these cloud providers are trying to sell access to cloud computing services, the developers want to use the libraries and the ecosystem they're familiar with. That's NVIDIA. That's the lock-in. You are right, Padres fan. The big barrier, it's not just the chip, it's the ecosystem that surrounds it. You have PyTorch, you now have RockM. CUDA is still biggest. AMD is 415. It's the last one we'll be covering. You're not, well, you're dumb, but not, not for that reason. Yeah, CUDA is industry standard. Um, NVIDIA was very, very smart and built it ahead of time. Oh, Star Bizzle's down. Star Bizzle is down. That's the one I'm in. One problem with India is that it isn't, is that it isn't easy for them to spread influence um, among geographical neighbors. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. It's, it's a complex topic. So either it's a new processor in town, it doesn't mean it's going to necessarily take. That's correct. That's correct. There will always be a market for NVIDIA for their chips as long as their ecosystem's the biggest. And right now it is. Let's see how Star Bizzle responds. Okay, MicroStrategy, um, big beat, but a miss on revenue. So chances are their entire beat is around probably the um, their Bitcoin portfolio. Yeah, their software licenses revenue was only a 4% increase year over year. 7% of constant currency, which means currency held them back a bit. Yeah, Punjabi Sikh, got it. Ooh, Caesar's up. Wendy's calling it out. Look at that. Uh, Lumen Technologies, Lumen's out. Lumen's an interesting one. Um, beat, inline revenue. Not bad. Looks like they're being rewarded for it. Starbucks is moving back up a little bit, still down. I want to see the numbers. Starbucks. Looks like a slight miss on revenue. Beat on EPS. U.S. comp sales were up 10%. I think that's good. Nope. Estimate was 11 North American comp sales were plus seven. Got it. International comp sales actually came pretty close. Thank you for this. So yeah, it does not look like Starbucks beat. Um, with what my understanding for Starbucks is people were expecting a little disappointment on the international side. That's related to China. I guarantee you 24% international comp sales against a target of 24.1, they actually outperformed internationally. North America may have come in a little bit under where they wanted. Wendy, revenue misses are the kiss of death. Are they? It's kind of, yeah. Yeah, Black Raven. Unfortunately, I know the history of Amrits are. I'm not going to pretend to like fully grasp it, but yeah. Windy, they are now X growth. We'll never make money from a cup of coffee again. So ELF, let's check ELF for a second. Holy shit, Becky strong. Becky remains strong. Becky is always the play. Pinterest beat. Average revenue per user is slightly down. That doesn't, that's close enough. Looks like a big beat. ELF Beauty, huge beat. Oh my God. Guiding up big too. Whoa. Whoa. ELF, that's a crush. ELF did very well. Let's go to pins for a second. What was Pinterest's guidance? Pinterest is down.
ELF got new shelf space. They were conservative last time. Apparently. Apparently. Let's see how Ulta is being treated. <laughs> the fuck? Dem hoes be stunting on us. And we respect you, ladies. We respect you. EA is the big loser so far. Ugh, I'm not getting, I'm not getting after hours percentages. Apple, JP Morgan raises the price target. There is a, th I'm a conspiracy theorist for this one. I believe that every time before Apple reports, someone pushes down expectations and then Apple gets a lower bar and they clear it every time. Yeah, down 4.8. You're noticing the whale tail trend is coming back. Victoria secretion is the play. Uh, Rover, what's R-O-V-R? -R? Rover group. Someone pointed them out previously. Jesus. Fuck. By the way, Prometheum, I can't wait to have the conversation at Apple like a year from now or two years from now when all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, they were growing. I still think you're going to end up eating shit on that one when it's like, oh my God. Yeah. Their expansion into services and the expansion into India. Your daughter has mostly ELF. That was your tip off. Her and her friends gravitate. For the price to cost ratio? Nice. Suchi, what is a whale tail? Someone tell them. Whale tail is when you're uh, from the back uh, for like a woman's butt, when her pants run low, but she's wearing a thong and the thong runs high. Yeah, Starbucks is flat. Basically. Um... I think Starbucks doesn't do guidance until the phone call. I think they're like Microsoft. Suchi, who finds that attractive? My brother in Christ. I wish we were around. If they grow more than high single digits long-term, you'll be surprised. Deal. That's a fair. That's a fair call out. That's a fair call out. Yeah, Apple doesn't even need to grow that. Yeah, they're just going to steal... Uh, they're just keep buying back their shares. Stoop kid, how can women do a whale tail when they're all wearing high waisted pants above their belly buttons? Simple. They're not gonna they're gonna stop wearing um high waisted pants above their belly buttons. That's the answer. People in the two thousands, I'm old enough to remember it was the nineties technically. Yeah, if you're not saying Apple is done growing, just 6 to 9% EPS growth for in, going forward. And I will disagree. I think they'll get more. I think they'll get more. It's just, um, yeah, you have to be making a lot of assumptions on the future. By the way, I would not be half as bullish on Apple in long term if we could actually name a truly competitive company with an ecosystem. Apple bottom jeans coming in boots with the fur. Uh, China saw 46% uh, sales growth. I'm pretty sure though, Starbucks has not given guidance. Pretty sure. I don't hold me that though. Dude, Apple's bear case when people realize that $1,000 per phone is too much. Dude, no, won't happen. I remember when their, first, when their phone first came out, people said that. It turns out it wasn't. Uh, Devin, miss uh, on both really close though, particularly on EPS. Oil production reached an all-time high 
of 323,000 barrels per day. Hear that? Oil production for Devon reached an all-time high. How are they being rewarded for this? They're flat. Granite Bravo baffles me that people haven't realized that yet. I mean, they're taking loans for that shit. They're not. <laughs> no one's taking a loan. Well, correction. The people absorbing the risk on that, it's all the, uh, the mobile carriers and all the companies. All right. The biggest buyer of iPhones in the world is corporate America. Yeah. Uh, Starbucks is moving up, by the way. Camping world with the miss. Same store, used vehicle sales increased 8.8%. New vehicle sales decreased by 23. Ouch. Penetration rate is already very high. Not in India. 5% market share Apple has as of now. Is AMD out? AMD should be. Let's check AMD. The big bullish part of AMD should be the guidance. Yep, Starbucks doing much better. There goes AMD. Not AMD nuts, it's AMD's nuts. All right. This is why you guys like having me being so semiconductor focused. Let's interpret what AMD said. Gross margin, 46% is not bad, actually. It's an improvement. Operating income, they had a loss. Not too much of a shock. Where is the... Oh, wow, guide up. Oh, well, wait, is it a guide up? No. So apparently they see next quarter's revenue 5.4 to 6 billion. The estimate apparently was 5.84. I don't know if that estimate came from them. That's the thing. I don't know. I don't know how that was expected. The important thing is they're guiding next quarter more revenue than this quarter. They needed to do that. They needed to. If they did not do that, the stock would be a smoking crater. So they got the most important part. Uh, were Starbucks numbers that bad? No, I, I I don't know. They haven't given guidance. I'm not seeing anything about Starbucks guidance. Uh, Ternium, $3.19 EPS, $1.80 dividend. Ooh. Look at AMD Go. How's NVIDIA responding? That's the real question. Not too much. How is Intel? Intel should be tracking much closer, technically inversely. Uh, EA, revenue miss, EPS, B, who cares? Bookings is what matters. Up 21%, driven by EA Sports, FIFA Momentum, yep. Rad, it doesn't feel like everything's beating earnings. We're getting, I think, generally speaking, good earnings, but we're getting differentiated. This is not like the throes of the pandemic when there's so much free money that like literally everyone beat and raised. You are seeing differentiation, which is basically back to normal. We like that. Yeah, EA does blow. But a lot of the people, I mean, the more important thing is how many companies are now guiding for sequential growth quarter over quarter for next quarter? That's the most important thing. All right, if... If companies do well this earnings, but then talk weakness next quarter, the entire logic about the market being where it is, is wrong. Overall, the expectation, the only way the market makes sense from valuation, this has to be exact peak EPS, peak earnings. If it's not, the whole market's gonna be overvalued. Uh, Virgin Galactic actually beat. 
Ooh. AMD, yep, yeah, so let's see. AMD sees third quarter data center up double digit percent quarter over quarter and third quarter client segment revenue up double digit. Nice. That's that's important. They needed that. That was the bare minimum, by the way. Yeah, miss on guide. Uh, yeah, but it feels relatively close. Also, I don't know where that guidance came from. AMD did not guide. So that's just what Wall Street expectations, which is fair, which is fair to hold them to. Aflac. Aflac and actual. Yeah, AFL. The fuck are we looking at here? All right, let me see what my homies are saying. Where do we read the fresh earnings? Yes, you see. If you want that or companies, uh, investor relations. Honestly, I tend to use a lot of, uh, of, of, of Twitter. I think there's a pretty, I think people generally do a good job. We made strong, here we go. We made strong progress meeting key hardware and software milestones to address the, the growing customer pull for our data center AI solutions and are on track to launch and ramp production of MI300 accelerators in Q4. There it is. That's what, that's essentially what AMD had to say. Sorry, Kiwi, I absolutely hate it. Sedge B, interesting contrast to end phase. Ooh. Starbucks is going wild. Shocker. Yeah, now Starbucks is green. Um, there was commentary earlier from Stephanie Link pointing out Starbucks, the, the bar was very low for Starbucks. Everyone knows China consumption was weak. Right? Padres fan, wonder what NVIDIA has up for their sleeve for earnings. Do not be short when NVIDIA reports. I promise you. Sedge is down big. Ooh. Solar Edge. Calm Sedge. Ah. Oh. Their forward PE is 19. How bad could it be, right? Pinterest, we currently expect Q3 revenue to grow in the high single-digit range year over year. We expect our Q3 non-GAAP operating expenses to grow in the low single digits. Mm -hmm. At least they make money, but I would, I mean, you have the expanding share count. They actually have cash. Looks like the solar inverter issues weren't isolated to end phase. Oh, good. That might mean opportunities to start picking them out. Pinterest doubled EPS expectations. Well, I mean, low base, right? End phase guided down 50%. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Gamar. How you doing, my friend? Obviously, AMD is the interested one. You think it's int uh, decent guidance shouldn't be tanking? Possibly. <sighs> that word beating is doing a lot of work here. Uh, 
Uh, Wendy, you see the pattern. Beats not getting rewarded this ER period like usual. I think what we're seeing now, because um, you're, you're right, Wendy. I actually think, generally speaking, the market's been fairly balanced, which is if a company was expected to beat, has a low quality beat, they may not be getting rewarded, but companies with like, they're almost getting rewarded by, okay, if they really crush or if they were more optimistic despite, say, a miss. So Arista Networks, to me, is the one that stood out from, from last night. Arista had really, really low expectations after Juniper reported, and they crushed it. So they get a 20% bump. Steely, the market did so much heavy lifting before we even got to the earnings seasons. Correct. Yes. Yeah, I did see that from Goldman Sachs about a near record poor response to beats. But I think in some cases, it's the reason you guys call out, which is a lot of these stocks may have ran up already. But then meanwhile, conversely, you had companies who may not have had, quote, beats, but they were more guide or they had better optimism for the future. And thus, boom, look at the healthcare sector, right? Then again, they did really well, period. Cali Otter, Prudential. Okay, when they start reporting book value per common share for for uh, for uh, insurance companies, my eyes water over. Like, is that a good thing or not? Uh, Bill, AMD Big Dub, no. No, they, they beat... I'm going to call them in line. Listen, you beat by one penny on EPS. I'm calling that in line. Their guide may not have been as high as the market was looking for, but they are posting double digit growth in their two segments. So client computing and data center are both growing double digit next year, next quarter, year over year, and they still have AI in front of them in the fourth quarter. So it's, they did what they had to do. Does that make sense, Bill? I'm not surprised to see AMD up. They they're not they are not going to get an Nvidia response. Put it that way. Uh, Pioneer was a beat as well. Are they getting rewarded? Yeah, we're flat. No one cares about them. Let's see. AMD. I'm calling it in line. Devin was like what a miss. Um, Star Bizzle was a uh, beat on EPS. Uh, I don't think revenue they beat. Uh, Matson, good question. MATX. Did you remember that your Denny research paper comparing analyst expectations versus actual earnings? This quarter indicates that we may not have seen the big lows in 2022. I mean, if we're beating expectations on earnings and if companies are now guiding sequentially higher, I, basically the market was over aggressive in pricing and an earnings decline. We got an earnings decline. We got a slowdown, absolutely. But we didn't get what was potentially priced into the market. And that might be why the market's been going up. And by the way, the market's just as keen to overreact in the opposite direction now. Uh, Padres fan, give you one crazy but plausible thing Nvidia could come out with on earnings that'll blow up the uh, that'll blow the market. Easy, fifteen billions are guided for the following quarter. Wait till you see Nvidia's guide. Matson pre-release is that a sus thing to do? No, in fact, I love it when companies pre uh, pre-release. Sam Adams and Target have not work their trust back for me when those two companies had terrible earnings and they knew in advance and they didn't they didn't pre-release no steely but if you find it i would love to see it yeah padres fan 11 billion is the target for nvidia keep in mind going into the last earnings nvidia's target consensus was 7.2 billion and they guided to 11 i'm willing to bet their next guide is even higher it's going to be disgusting. It's all driven by data center, by the way. If you're thinking, well, I'm, who's going to buy these gaming cards? No one cares. It's, H100, it's H100s. 
It's the $40,000 chip, not the $1,500 chip. Mosaic, missed. Beat on revenue, miss on EPS. If they come, yeah, oh my God. Sorry, Kiwi, if that's the number they come out with, that'd be insane. I want to see like how the BBY. Sorry, I do have to review their information tonight just to see how much they're dying. Uh, Turnium, huge beat. Beat on EPS, missed on revenue. How the? And a huge beat on EPS. All right, so September 7th, um, BBY is canceled. Fuck Pablo. I mean, what did Pablo do this time? Did he shit on them? They're down, but not highly traded. Yeah, for those of you who don't know about Pablo, Pablo is the CFO of Turnium. There was a time in V-Bears where a lot of people were invested in their earnings and they literally put forth their best earnings, I believe, in history. And then on the earnings call, their CFO, when it was time for him to speak, kept talking nonstop shit. They're like, I don't think we'll ever have a quarter like this. I don't see steel prices being the same. We we'll probably won't ship as much. And it, it wasn't like he was answering questions. He was inserting this shit like without prompt. So the stock got absolutely murdered. In fact, I'm pretty sure we can see Pablo's great betrayal. It was in 2021, right? I believe this was it. This is Pablo. He did turn out to be correct, by the way. It was the fact that it was all unprompted that sucked. So everyone kind of hate him after that. Because literally, this happened on the day they had their best earnings in history. They crushed it. Still a good company, but like, mm, I don't trust that management. The joke was for me, it was like, good God, they need to... Um, they need to give some shares to the Mexican cartel so the next time one of their executives feels like being overly bearish on the call. Cartels will wipe them out. Yeah, by the way, Prometheum's right. The next quarter, they also did very well. Prometheum, or um, um, Turnium always did well, like financially, but no one touched them anymore. At least we didn't. You know, I always felt bad about that because like the week before I sold out of my Turnium and I had a bunch of positions. I'm like the only person in, in the V-Bears that actually made money on that one. He's a little too honest. Again, if someone asks a question, I want executives to be honest. I don't want executives to lie to me. But Jesus, that call was epic. Like if you listen to it, you're not going to say he's an honest guy. You're going to say he's an asshole. Hey, stupid kid, you missed the stream yesterday. On semi crushing it. On semi's doing very well. If they hit 105 and close this gap, that might be the sign to buy back in. I don't know. Super good company. They did really well. They did really well. Uh, beat and raise. Clean beat, clean raise. Padres fan. Did I see Vaz's chart in Oracle? No, I did not. Thoughts on the company outside of TA? Oracle is the marriage of two businesses. They have a legacy uh, database software business, which I'm not interested in. They also have a rapidly expanding cloud business. They're like number four in cloud in the US behind Microsoft, Google, and um, Amazon. 
but they also have a lot of focus on healthcare with their Cerner acquisition. So their cloud business and services business, I love. Their enterprise software business, it's a cash cow, but it's, it's nothing sexy. I like them though. I have an Oracle position. Really good management, by the way. Not Larry Ellison, but their current CEO, she's very good. Yep, rad. So BBBY confirmed removed in September. They're supposed to be, yeah, I just saw they're supposed to be. The Chapter 11 plan is expected to be approved on September 7th. The share cancellation will happen shortly after that meeting. Yep, so summary of expected recoveries, class nine, interests in BBB. Um, there is a separate section that defines what this means. This is shareholders, equity holders. Each allowed interest in BBB shall be canceled, released, and extinguished and will be of no further force or effect and no holder of interests in BBY and shareholders shall be entitled to any recovery or distribution under the plan on account of such interests. This is the second time now, say the third time this has been said in the documentation. So, uh, yeah. Hey, it's Fitzy. How you doing, my friend? Wait, was Match reporting tonight? Because I saw something said that it was actually quite bullish for them. Holy shit, they must have. Had I known about this one, I'd have been tempted to play it. Yeah. Apparently, Tinder did well. Good for them. This stock's been beaten to shit. I wonder what their guidance looks like. This one actually trades on forward PE. See how BBY apes are treating shit. Bank of America has Pfizer dividend yield at 5% by year end. 5% is shit co levels. Wait till they start buying back shares aggressively. But yeah, that is a... All right, let's see how the BBY apes are doing. All right, that was there any news to report that made it drop 22 or so percent? Just the usual crap. I don't know. The share is going about to go to zero. Suchi, yeah, but Bank of America. They're going to scream, not the final plan, can be changed, yes. A month from now, when the all the stores are closed, all the inventory is already gone, all the workers are already done, the website's Bye Bye Baby belongs to uh, Dream On Me. And the website Bed Bath & Beyond already belongs to Overstock.com. But yeah, magically it's going to change and someone's going to step in to pay a bunch of debt holders just so they can donate money to shareholders. That's stupid. So tomorrow for earnings, CVS, Humana, Generac, Cabeco, Kraft Heinz, a lot of interesting companies. Tomorrow, though, after markets where shit gets spicy. PayPal, Shopify, Qualcomm, Oxy, Unity, Robinhood, Mercado Libre, and Etsy. Yeah, I saw the America's first scratch-built nuclear reactor. That's an important part. In seven years, opened in Georgia. God, good for them. 
All right, let's check AMD for a second, and then let's check Starbucks. So AMD is up 4.26% in after hours. Good. Good. They deserve it. Maybe. You hit I say Kamenko? Fuck off. And let's see Starbizzle. Remember, Starbizzle has not done um, guidance yet. Padres fan, you'll ask me tomorrow stream your famous earnings question. Got it. Anyway, friends, let's check out what our good friend Jay Jared's up to. See how he's doing. Uh, hold on, that's his, uh, his always on streaming. Well, who's... Actually, hold on. Be nice. All right, well, I, I guess there's not. Let me go back and check the, uh... some of you guys have said like, look at just chatting. He's been having a rough go, oh, that sucks. I need boobs. I definitely need boobs. Reiner, thank you guys very much for sticking around with me, given I do not have boobs. Lord. Just chatting is literally porn. Feels that way. <laughs> Cartoon, thank you for the boobs in the corner. My God. Uh, PP shows on, um, uh, YouTube. Yeah, that's just, that's just destructive. Good fucking Lord. That's a joke. What the fuck am I seeing here? Listen, I'm not a hater. Let the women have their fun, but. Come on. Get some implants, technically, yeah. Uh, host a Hearthstone guy, happily. All right, since I'm not going to be streaming Hearthstone, I have to take care of my nephew tonight. I'm going to leave you with a Hearthstone streamer. All right. I'll pick on Kibler. So. He's a good guy. This just proves I need a hot tub stream. Correct. But like. You have to make it rain. All right, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Be respectful. This is a streamer I like. And I will see you all tomorrow. Right. Anyway, cheers, guys.